Now that the preparations are done, it is time to get started on your workpiece. Start off by bringing the wood to size. Check the wood piece and select the side free from blemishes and knots. Step 1. Go on to mark the layout. Take a measuring tape and a pencil and mark the points for the length and width. Take a tri-square, align it to the edge of the wooden piece and mark a straight line to join the lines. This will determine the length of your oilstone stand. Mark out the recess that will hold the oilstone. The dimensions should be such that it holds the oilstone snugly but not too tight. Remember, the recess should be located right in the center, at equal distance from both the side edges. Moving on to the handle, the handle should be wide enough to allow the user to easily step on it. Keeping this in mind, mark out the width and then draw tapering lines from both the width points. Make the layout on the wooden piece as per your design. This will determine the reference to make your oil stand. Step 2. Support the wooden piece against the bench top and place an extra piece of wood below the workpiece so that it is raised to make the cut. Use a handsaw and bring the wood to the requisite size. Cut off the waste from the handle. Cut on the waste side of the cutting line. Step 3. Support the wooden piece against the bench top and smoothen the face edge flat by using a smoothing plane. Keep checking and smoothing till you get the desired flatness on both the handle edges. Step 4. Once the layout has been cut, start paring out the wood to make your recess. Put the workpiece flat on the workbench, face side up, and support it against the bench top. Hold a bevel edge chisel perpendicular to the wood, keeping the blade on the marked line. Cut a series of parallel lines about a quarter inch apart staying within the scored lines. Drive it in with the sharp force of a wooden mallet. Then cut out the entire outline in the same fashion. Keep the cut straight and perpendicular to the edge. Remember, the depth of the cut should not be more than one-third of the thickness of the oil stone. Now, remove the waste wood from within the outline cut you made. Clean up the recess until its bottom is smooth and flat and at a depth exactly one-third to the thickness of the oil stone. Test fit the oil stone as you work to check the recess depth. Flatten the bottom smooth. Step 5. You now have an oilstone stand. 
There's just one thing left to be done. Giving the finishing touches. Take sandpaper and sand down all the rough edges to achieve a smooth and even surface. Use this practical guide to make an oilstone stand of your own. Here is a recap of the broad steps you need to perform to complete the workpiece. Step 1. Mark the layout. Step 2. Cut out the waste. Step 3. Smoothen the edges. Step 4. Pair out the waste. Step 5. Give finishing touches.